Hey, what's up, guys? It's September, and we have a boxy charm to open up. I'm disappointed that it's not fall colors. I'm well. just going to say that. <laughs> I feel like they're always the same black box. This is real life runway. Strut your runway. What does that even mean? All right, so we're saving that for last. I already looked in this box because she was getting ready to buy makeup. I was like, don't buy that. Also featuring Tom Savini. All right. What we have here is Avant Skincare Deluxe Hyaluronic Acid Vivifying Face and Eye Night Cream. This delightful anti-aging moisturizer for use on the face and targeted eye area formulated with hyaluronic acid. I only know how to say that word because of this YouTube channel. That works to deeply nourish your skin. It also combines signature ingredients to help improve the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and a weakened skin surface. For your weak ass skin, son. <laughs> it's fragrance, which I'm not super thrilled about. Let's see. Let you see with your nose? I see with my nose. I'm not nose blind. <laughs> it's going smell blind. It feels nice. It's a serum? This is a lot of serum. I'm actually pretty impressed. It's probably very expensive. You're a serum. That is $134. What? For what? For what? It says MSRP. How many ounces is this? It is 1.69 fluid ounces. So roughly like $100 an ounce. What the fuck? A hundred dollars an ounce? I said over a hundred dollars. That's in that's insane. I'm not gonna be repurchasing this. Although I did buy like an eighty-eight dollar moisturizer. Alright, so this is from Psalm Institute. It's transport exfoliating glycolic acid pads. Ooh. Gently exfoliate and treat your skin, taking it to a whole new level. Transport powered by MDT5. Features saturated soft cotton pads designed to help improve skin tone, texture, and clarity, and an 8% buffered AHA to gently exfoliated dead cells on the skin surface. $65. That's $199 between the first two things. Yeah, boxy charm is worth it. There are the pads. They're kind of like. I don't know when inch Jeez. into it there. Sheets, please sponsor us. Um, and we got our thirst quenched at Sheets. You watch Clerks Wonderful, 3. wonderful Sheets. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about this. I use the magic pads every day. So I'll try this I got the in magic place pads. of my beloved magic pads. See how it works. You've had those forever. I love them. I love the magic pads, and whenever anyone's like, oh, do you have anything you can recommend for your skin and blah, 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 it's always that. They're amazing. I love them. Tom loves them. How could you not? I don't know if he loves them. Right. That looks fancy. It's oh, the packaging is so cute. Ciate London. Oh, that's It's a adorable. bamboo bronzer. Oh. This oil-controlling formulation... Uh, is infused with botanical ingredients including bamboo powder for a shine-free sun-kissed finish. The super lightweight powder can be swept across cheekbones for a subtle glow or built up to contour and chisel your features. It feels really nice. Does it feel like it chisels your features? It does not. No scent. I can't really tell the color from I here. I can't feel my face. Can you see? I'm with you. On my hand? Yeah, I see it. Does that look sun-kissed, or does it look orange? Uh, about halfway. Halfway which way? Halfway between sun-kissed and orange. Uh, that's not going to be a great look for me, but, like, how freaking cute. How cute is that? And, like, the, the product itself is stamped in a, a very start. cute little manner. I love it. Okay. That is, uh, $25. Okay. Um... We're missing something. Oh, there it is. This is the eyeliner I was telling you about. It's from Tint. It's 
called Phantom Liner. Oh. Is there other stuff in here? I think I've gotten a mascara from them. So, uh, Tint Phantom Liner. A color-rich formulation that glides onto the skin with ease and strong color payoff. This liner allows you to create eye looks from subtle to strong for the perfect wing. $18. Also affordable. Doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of product in there, but... Also, shout out to our Applebee's waitress who had a wonderful, wonderful wing. Yeah, she had a really good It was wing. sharp. She cut, cut my steak with it. <laughs> like she could, she should have cut your chicken with that wing. Okay, now we have the Ace Butte Violet Sage Palette. Oh, yeah. That's that's actually cute. I think that's why I said I was like, no. That's why she was like, should we unbox it? I'm like, you're really going to like the palette. The so, packaging is cute. Oh, look at the purples it, and the green. It looks like it only has three shimmers that Anamone, Cosmos, and Wisteria. Shout out to Wisteria. Hey, yeah, what's up, girl? Uh, so, the Ace Butte Violet Sage Palette. This palette features a combination of light and airy colors and some deep colors to spark creativity and create a variety of looks. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. $32. Ooh. We've gotten a palette from them before. Sure. Sure. Like, I'm, like I'm going to remember that. I remember the packaging. If you see me wincing, it's because I have large burn on my leg. And it hurts to exist. Yeah, these are nice and pigmented. Wow. Like. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that pretty excited good. about that. I wonder... I wonder if I still have that palette. I might have... I think you gave it to Loretta. I think I gave it to Julia. You gave it to somebody. Which is fine. That's what we do with spare with the spare stuff you're not going to use. We don't let it sit on a shelf and rot. We give it to people who are going to use it, love it, and appreciate it, and are good, true, good people in life, like good, Julia. Good, good people. Love you, Julia. Yes, Julia is a just genuinely good person, and I adore the shit out of her. All right, so... There it also is. Also, Lorena. Lorena's amazing. Lorena's my soul sister, so I can never say anything. Enough good love that her. bitch. I love you, bitch. Yeah, I love you too, Dan, if you're watching. That's her. <laughs> That's her. I love um, you, Boopy. So, yeah, so, I mean, th this looks like one of the better boxes you've ever gotten. I'm still, like, kind of, like, excited but disturbed how much <laughs> stuff costs. And, like, the, the pads. So the magic pads. <laughs> Stop that. Ew. The magic pads, I think, are like 20 something. You said these are 60 something? So, yeah, the pads are 65. Uh, the little tiny bottle of Avante skincare is 134. So, this. That's insane. I have like I a, better put that oil under my eyes and wake up tomorrow and look 19 again. <laughs> what? Do you want to try it? I just, for $134, <laughs> I'm gonna. So, I have a thing of uh, Tatcha moisturizer that's about this size. I think it's just like the Dewy Skin moisturizer. It's like a little dabble do ya. Lasted me over four months. I think it was like $88. But it's so incredibly good. That I'm okay paying that for the product. Well, like I, mean, I will, pay, I will drop money. You pay thirty-four dollars for something, but it lasts you like four months. Yeah, that's literally like only like a dollar and change, like a dollar twenty a day. I'm scared. I'm okay with that. That I'm gonna be like going to like put this on my hand, and someone will like pop out of the shower, and I'll just be like, <laughs> and like oh. eighty bucks of it, mm -mm -mm -mm. like cat scrape. Cat scares me. In a small me. container, <laughs> scrape put it into the small container and then just open it dab it. I want to know how like I have the ordinary um I've gotten the the hyaluronic serum from them before. I didn't really like it, but it was like, you know, a decent style size bottle with the dropper and it was like 12 bucks. Like, how did they justify? How do you justify that? Also, the ordinary is niacinamide serum and their multi-peptide Copper serum, I think. Amazing. Love it. All right. Well, you're going to try everything. Tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Yeah. You're going to try everything tomorrow. I'm going to go stream on Twitch. 
I will not be back here because I will be getting your oil change in your car. <laughs> and uh, so next time you s I won't be here and she'll be in this chair. Maybe I'll have you do a reaction for my final look. Maybe I'll be here later then. Okay. See ya. Bye. All right, so here's the look. I did use the serum last night, and I used it this morning. Was I terrified using it, just knowing how expensive it was? Absolutely. It was nerve-wracking. I was worried I was going to over-squeeze and waste, like, $50, but here we are. I used those, uh, I think they're AHA pads this morning after I did my whole skincare routine. They were great. They, like, I feel like the... The chemical exfoliants kind of all give you a little bit of a tingly feeling, not necessarily burning, but you know there's definitely some active ingredient in there. And uh, I'm not going to know how that works until I use it uh, several times, but I used the palette here on my lid. I used this bit of this in the corner as well as that. I used the light green in my inner corner because I was feeling like a Beetlejuice vibe, I don't know. Um, initially I had put, I think this shimmer in the inner corner and I just wasn't feeling it. So I covered it up with that. And it's like, you, you don't even know that there really was shimmer there at any point. I used this kind of burgundy color under my lower lashes just to try a little bit more of the palette. Um, I had considered using one of the shimmers for a highlight but I just don't think that they would really mesh well with my skin tone. And you would have that weird, like when you turn to the side, just a stripe. I'm not, I'm not into that, but these are amazing. The formula is amazing. They blend it out really easily. They're very pigmented. I'm very, very happy. So I think I would like to do just like a green look next time. Like maybe that on the lid, smoke it out with this. It, I love greens. They're so pretty big fan big fan um with the bronzer i just i'm looking a little warm a little orangey which is awkward because my skin tone's really cool so i don't really like that on me um for my contour recently i think this is in i think it's an amber who can see that i don't know but it's one of the fenty sticks. I think they're called match sticks. I don't remember, but I use that to contour and I would typically do that. I wear like a tinted moisturizer. I actually have it right here. Really like this one. It's NARS. It has a lot of SPF in it. I still wear SPF under it and then apply it, but that's me and that's also what everyone should be doing, but I don't think you are. It's okay. I'm not here to judge you. And then I would use this, blend it out, and then I have a pressed powder, which I think is like a pressed foundation also, just to give me a little bit more coverage because I am pretty red. So it has a bit of color to it. That's what I use. I topped it off with a little bit of the, is it Tarte? It's Tarte Parte Blush. I love this color. It works really well for my skin tone. I'm a big fan. I tried out that eyeliner and the only gripe I have with this is that the applicator is really, really long and I have very small eyes, so it's a bit hard to deal with. I did extend my inner corner with it, so we will see how that wears. I did a wing, like a little baby wing. Can you see it? I don't know. It's there. I swear. But that was the makeup that I used. The lip I used today is actually just the Sephora liquid lipstick in black because I love it. And I've been really trying to find a good black lipstick that isn't KVD Beauty because I feel like that formula tends to dry me out a little bit. I know I'd used, I got another one of these in like an emerald green and I wore it to work. I loved it. It was beautiful. Obviously I wore it to my part-time job where I do hair because who would know if I wore this to work at my office job because we're still wearing masks, which is fine. I have no problem with that, but no one would be able to enjoy the 
beautiful emerald color. It wore really well. I feel like taking it off was a bit of an issue just because I have no chill. So I was just trying to rub it off with like a paper towel and some water. And you should really use like an oil-based cleanser to get this off because I um, unintentionally like deep exfoliated my lips and then they were peeling for a little while. So I'm not going to do that today. But it is about 120 ish I'm going to probably wear this like, I don't know, like six hours, seven hours maybe till I'm ready to start getting set for bed and uh, check in, see how everything wore. Uh, see you in a second. All right, so here's my check-in. It is like a little less than quarter of eight and been wearing this not really doing anything physical around the house today I just had some computer work I needed to do and um, yeah so this this lip product is amazing I've been wearing it since I applied it at around like what was it like 120 something and uh, it's almost been six hours I just had to touch it up once after we ate dinner so that's amazing. It's not like completely transfer proof. It comes off a little bit, but like the feeling of it is very comfortable. I know that this was not in my boxy charm, but I just had to say. So I'm going to take a peek until I was wearing my glasses working on the computer. Um, yeah, the eyeshadow looks awesome. I'm really happy about that. It hasn't separated. I feel like it looks pretty much like it did when I put it on. Um, the, uh, the bronzer. I'm not a fan of the bronzer. It's way too warm for me. And even like I don't ever get a tan because I'm really careful about my skin. Not to sound preachy, but like wear your SPF. Um, if I were to get a tan, I would not be like a warm color I would probably still be a cool color because my undertones are cool I, that's probably how that works I don't know who knows I just uh, not a fan not a fan of it on me it would probably work for someone else though so the liner the liner seems like it's holding in there yeah I mean it hasn't really moved at all. I mean, I haven't, like, I never rub my eyes if I'm wearing makeup, but it hasn't cracked or crumbled or anything, so that's great. I just wish the applicator wasn't so, like, wispy. This is a bit difficult to work with, but yep. Yeah. I love this eyeshadow palette. It's great. I love it. So those are my thoughts. Uh, like I said, with the skincare products, you don't really know until it's been a few weeks, so very excited to keep using them. What did you get in your boxy this week, this month, I should say? Uh, let me know. Did we get any of the same things? Do you really like this eyeshadow brand that I have now buried? Hold on one moment. Do you have any other palettes you can recommend from Ace Beauty? I'd love to know. This is just like the cutest palette. Those greens though. I mean, come on. They're so pretty. I love them. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to, can't wait, can't wait to keep playing with that. And, uh, let me know if you have any recommendations for bronzers for cool toned pale people. I'd love to know favorite bronzers in general, you know, based on longevity application, drop those in the comments. I'd also love to read about that. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. And I hope you're having a, a wonderful September and spooky season is right around the corner. Can't wait. It's always spooky season here. See you later, guys. Bye.